Yeah, I think it'll be good. I think there'll be some adjustments at first, um, but uh, I think it'll give the kids some extra time to do their, to get their work. Coming up on THS TV. Today's news reporter Avery Forrest will give you all the details on the new schedule for the 2019-2020 school year. In sports, we'll be telling you all about purchasing football season tickets. In today's entertainment news, the Marching Southern Sounds have prepared a new halftime show. These stories plus more headlines are coming your way on today's THS TV. An updated schedule is sparking conversation as we bring in the new year. Good morning, I'm Blakely Chanel. And I'm Avery Zell, and this is THS TV. Students have new opportunities to get caught up on missed work with the introduction of a new fourth period block advisory schedule. And students and teachers are feeling the effects of the change. THS TV reporter Avery Forrest breaks down the changes. With a new school year comes brand new schedules along with it. This year's schedules haven't just changed your classes but also where you go for fourth period. This year, on every Tuesday and Thursday, instead of going to your regular fourth period class, you go to your first period class for what is called an advisory period unless instructed otherwise. The advisory period is used for multiple things, including helping students catch up on missed work and bringing up grades in classes students may have poor scores in. Many students do not like having to change what class to go to for fourth. Um, I don't like the fact that it takes away from my academic time in my fourth period, so I think that they could add a period, another period at the end of the day and make the school day shorter so then all the people that have um, to make up their zeros could come longer for the, like, come longer. While many students do not like the change in the schedules, most of the teachers and administrators agree that the change is worth the minor inconvenience and will help students in the end. Yeah, I think it'll be good. I think there'll be some adjustments at first, um, but uh, I think it'll give the kids some extra time to do their, to get their work done and some enrichment time and things like that. So I think, yeah, I think it'll be great. Reporting for THS TV on the 2019 THS schedules, I'm Avery Forrest. What do you think about the updated schedule? Tweet us at THS News TV and you could be featured on an upcoming show. Next Monday evening, seniors can start making decisions about their future at the college and career fair. The event will be held at 6 p.m. in the Performing Arts Center. Administrators will share information about the timeline of senior year, college applications, and career planning tips. Right after the program, students and parents can visit the admissions counselor to learn more about scholarships, tuition, and much more. Seniors get a lot of exposure to scholarships and they find out what's going on their senior year and how they can hear more about all the colleges and make sure that they have a broad variety of choices to pick from so they can make the best choice. If you have any questions, you can talk, contact Ms. Vickers at pam.vickers at acsboe.org. Alabaster, Alabaster City Schools is offering the opportunity to have Wi-Fi on the go. This is available for students, families, or empo employees of Alabaster to help make an affordable offer for unlimited nationwide wireless internet for $50 per month, multiple devices, anywhere. Multiple devices can be connected at once and can be used anywhere. For more information on the purchase, please go to your email, to your school email. A natural disaster has people speaking out on social media. Here's what's trending on Twitter. Hashtag Amazon Rainforest has over 37,000 tweets bringing awareness to the issue of forest fires. The number of fires have increased 82% across the northern region of Brazil since January, and Rio de Janeiro had the largest percent increase at 173%. The increase is because of droughts, increased heat, and land use change. Many people fear that the wildfires increase the de deforestation will continue to happen and will lose its natural resources. Do you want to get in on the conversation? Tweet us at THS News TV and you could be featured on an upcoming show. Now let's take another look at today's hot topics and today's national headlines.
A black hole swallowing a neutron star has most likely been detected for the first time. The black hole was discovered on August 14th by a gravitational wave discovery machine. The machines detected ripples in space and time from an event that happened about 8,550 million trillion kilometers away from Earth. Indiana Dunes National Park has been closed due to a chemical spill that occurred last week. The incident released wastewater of containing high levels of ammonia and cyanide into the river, killing hundreds of fish in the area. The company responsible is Arso Mido and said the incident was due to a failure in a blast furnace. Nine people were injured in Pennsylvania this past Sunday after a lightning struck a tree, causing it to fall on their tent. Out of two adults and seven children, three were seriously injured, while the other six suffered minor injuries. So, Ga so Gavin, what's happening in, today, in this week's sports? So, school is just starting and the sports are just getting started up. And Thursday, um, volleyball is going to play a game at home. And then Saturday is going to be our first football game as well. It's not going to be on a Friday this year. So, um, you know, sports are starting up and it's, I'm looking forward to it. I've got more in today's sports. But first, we have more in today's announcements. We'll be right back with more THS TV. to come on THS TV. With football season coming up, if you want your season ticket for every game, stay tuned to find out. Chick-fil-A is giving you something new to make your sandwich that much better. Stay tuned to find out about Chick-fil-A's new mac and cheese. You're watching THS TV, Thompson High School source for sports. Interested in joining the girls' soccer team? 
There is a preseason meeting being held tomorrow evening in the Performing Arts Center between 6 and 7.30. The discussion will be composed of physicals, new changes in the program, trial reviews, and much more. Um, I think it's important just so that the upcoming players who probably have never played before know what to expect and um, know the information about Sphere Pack and all the prices and the trips we take. Also, um, so that they can meet their fellow players in the future and just know what to expect for the upcoming season. For more information on the soccer interest meeting, check the daily announcements. From the high school gym to the college turf, we've got the details in today's national sports headlines. In a recent practice, Lakers center DeMarcus Cousins tore his ACL. Cousins has been struggling with many injuries recently with an injury in January of 2018 when he suffered from a left Achilles tear, and in April, he tore his quadriceps. There is not a timeline for surgery. This is his third major leg injury in the past year and a half. Former Detroit Lions wide receiver and his business partner, ex-NFL lineman Rob Sims, have partnered with Harvard University to research the benefits of medical marijuana in the area of CTE. This is the beginning of what Johnson and Sims are hoping is a long-term relationship with Harvard. The Brooklyn Nets announced Friday that Russian billionaire Mikhail Prokhorov has officially agreed to sell his remaining stake in the Brooklyn Nets in full ownership of Barclays Center to Joe Tsai. Tsai, who paid $1 billion for a 49% share of the Nets in 2018, is paying an additional $1.35 billion for the remaining 51%. is now open. The entrepreneurship class is learning about starting a business and their first project is the school store. The store is located next to the spire staircase in the rotunda. It will be selling items such as warrior gear, school supplies, and other interesting items. For more information on the school store, see Coach Gaines in room E-103. The peer helpers have received a $14,000 grant for their driveway for their Thrive Brave programs throughout Alabaster City Schools. This grant is given to organizations that inspire and, and support each and every student by empowering them as tutors, mentors, and advocates in whatever they need. To learn more about the Thrive Brave, Thriveway and Peer Helper programs, just visit the Thriveway website. We applied for the grant, we received $14,000, which will allow us to implement a new program called Thriveway um, in every one of our schools. And basically the program helps us um, train our peer helpers to be more effective, gives them real tools to help other students, and um, kind of boosts our peer helper program. Today during advisory period, you will be covering the topic of safety. Do you know all the procedures for a case of an emergency? Make sure you know the proper exit routes in case of a fire, what to do in a lockdown, the types of codes, and what to do in any kind of emergency. You never know what could happen, so be prepared. We'll be right back. It'll come on THS TV. Want some good coffee to start the day? Stay after the break to hear about the new coffee bus. Do you know the drill plans to ensure your safety? The answers are still to come in today's advisory updates. This is THS TV, Thompson High School source for entertainment.
Hey, I'm Carson Myers, and this is your Warrior Weather. Make sure your air conditioner is working this week because the highs will be in the 90s all week long. Today has a high of 94 degrees and a low of 72. Tomorrow will be partly cloudy with, with a high of 94 and a low of 73. Thursday will be 93 degrees, but we'll have a slight shower to cool it off. And at the end of the week on Friday, there will be scattered thunderstorms with a high of 91 and a low of 72. Moving on into the weekend, Saturday will have a 60% chance of rain with highs of 87 degrees and a low of 72. So you, might want, so you might want to bring a rain jacket or an umbrella to Saturday's football game. As the upcoming football season comes closer, the Marching Southern Sounds is preparing, is preparing to unveil their new halftime show. THS TV reporter Avery Zell shows you more about We Are Warriors. It's a new school year and with it brings new changes as we enter the 2020 football season. The visual ensemble has had a history of coming out on top with accolades stemming from local competition to the state level. Their main theme prior to this year included the Iron Giant, a celebration of Birmingham that pays homage to the history of Alabama's largest city. However, come August 23rd, Warrior fans will be seeing a different side of what the ensemble has to offer. Well, the theme is Warrior theme, so we have a little bit of our fight song in there and it's going to be really exciting. The fans will actually know the songs and my favorite part is we get to twirl knives and we get to run across the whole field at the very end of the show there's a huge volcano and we get to twirl all around it the whole time and it's just going to be very exciting reporting for THS TV I'm Avery Zhao With a new school year starting comes endings and new beginnings. Netflix is beginning new seasons, movies and series, as well as saying goodbye to a few favorites. New arrivals that are now streaming on Netflix are Jane the Virgin Season 5, Cable Girl Season 4, Dear White People Volume 3, Glow Season 3, Groundhog Day, Judy Moody and the Not-So-Bummer Summer, All of the Rocky Movies, The 100 Season 6, and The Punisher. Still to come on Netflix this month are Netflix Originals Hyperdrive, American Factory, Drop in Cash Season 2, and other shows like Locked Up Season 3 and Nightfall Season 2. I think that uh, the new ones that are coming on there is uh, good because a lot of people just want them on there because they would just aired on TV or just new episodes and stuff. With the new shows and movies coming onto Netflix, it's time to say goodbye to a few favorites like both of the Hairspray movies, The Final Destination, Death in Paradise Seasons 1 through 7, Beverly Hills Chihuahua, A Cinderella Story, The Royal Season 1, Beautiful Creatures, Zombieland, and many more. I am very sad that the old ones are leaving because Hairspray to me is a classic. And Zombieland, uh, even though it's kind of horror, it's kind of funny, so it just gives me something fun to watch if I'm in the mood for that kind of stuff. For a full list of what's coming and going on Netflix this month, you can visit tomsguide.com slash news on Netflix. Reporting for THS TV on Netflix comings and goings, I'm Danny Milan. Do you need an extra boost to get you through the day? Coffee is a must-have for many people, and now there's a fun, unique coffee bus that travels all around Alabaster. The Vessel Coffee Company is a coffee bus that you can find at the First Presbyterian Church in Fru Fru. This five-star bus has a full menu of teas, lattes, lemonade, cookies, brownies, and assorted bagels. To keep up with the location and times of the coffee bus, follow their Facebook and Instagram page at Vessel Coffee Company. Music, movies, and more, we've got the latest gossip and celebrity news in today's Hollywood headlines. Olivia Newton-John, most known for her role Sandy in Grease, publicly revealed she had stage 4 breast cancer a few months ago. 
Now, in a recent interview with Entertainment Tonight, she says she has been doing fine and still feels like she has tons of things to do and people to help. Todd and Julie Chrisley, most known for the reality show Chrisley Knows the Best, was just found not guilty to their many indictments of tax evasion, wire fraud, and bank fraud. But they are not done just yet. The case could go to trial, and if the jury decides to side with the government, the IRS could take everything they have from them to fulfill the debt, including their reality show. John Mayer was just granted a temporary restraining order against a crazed fan who started terrorizing him and members of his team. According to documents, the fans started harassing and stalking Mayer, and this then started to harass his team through social media. That's all for today's entertainment. Tune in on Thursday for the cast list of Theaters News Play. Now back to you guys with more news. Chick-fil-A has added a new item to the menu that is sure to be a hit, macaroni and cheese. They tested out this item last October at select locations and after a good feedback, they made it permanent to the menu. The side item comes in a small for $2.49 and a medium for $2.99. The item received good reviews and many directors say it has been an easy decision to add it to the menu. Um, Chick-fil-A is great. I love all of their food and the fact that they're bringing mac and cheese is great. I haven't tried it yet, but it seems like it's really good and everybody else seems to like it, so I might give it a try. Well, Blakely, I don't know about you, but I love Chick-fil-A. I was going <laughs> to say that too. And on top of that, they added macaroni. Which is like another of my favorite foods. I know, so I'm really stoked and can't wait to go over there and try it for sure. I know, we need to go later because I'm really dying to try it. Okay. Everybody says it's really good. So. I know. <laughs> We've got you up to date on new foods, restaurants that are adding to their menu. Now Carson has you for today's bus stop forecast. Carson? Well guys, we're finally kicked off the school year and now we got a new schedule, so how do y'all feel about it? I mean, so far it hasn't bothered me. Um, I thought it was going to be really tough going earlier and later, but so far it hasn't really been that bad. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like it's a really smart choice. You know, it gives the students a little, more, uh, a little bit more leeway and time to make up some assignments and um, really cracking down on, you know, if you have a zero in a class, you know, you can go Tuesday and Thursdays and just make it up. And uh, I think it's a really smart decision. Right. We've got you up to date on news, new food restaurants. Mm -mm. That's all for today's news. Have a great day. <laughs>